the John Smith Sandy Cup Chase is next is a three mile one furlong 0 to 160 and at the top we've got the teacher for Joshua Sutherland one trap mind Leon Van Rinsberg Blazer Trail Craig Beckwith Jewel Flower Leon Van Rinsberg Knightly Contract Craig Beckwith Bring Me Luck Graham Clutterbuck Devil's Harmony Darren Thompson Malia Mal John Morgan Look Sharp Martin Leon Devil a Lake Darren Thompson Good Queen David Hooley Gunpoint Defence Stu Gray Mingan Landing Daniel French Ninochka Stop David Robertson Sheer Ability John Morgan Sensi Utopia Vinnie Gerard, Long Term Project Graham Clutterbuck, Brooklyn Jean, Alex Cherry, Murdoch Garfield, Matt Cooper, Pompey Millennium Vinnie Gerard, Higher Calling Daniel French, Rabban Matchin, Padre Hogan, Petoskey Blur, Stu Gray, and Marathon Messiah for Alex Cherry. So 24 in this then, same amount as we had in the Grand National. And away we go. Bizarre, well, anyway, off towards the first. There you go, 17, I think they would have taken on this. Indeed they have, and they're all safely over the first of them on the mild, mild May course, of course. And it's Bring Me Luck, who's the early leader from Look Sharp on his inside. Petoskey Blur Rider on the far side of the John Morgan pair are coming through now, though, to come through to dispute the lead on their own. And they get over fence number two. And we've lost one at the back there. It's the teacher, the top weight. The teacher's gone, so a bit of a surprise there. So the teacher is out, and the John Morgan pair are going to battle for the lead and set a stiff pace again a bit like they did in the Grand National we get a few more round in this one as they get to the next oh, and oh he nearly went there the horse that was in the lead Malia Mali really took a dive at it but got away with it and they passed the winning post then with two circuits of the Mardley course ahead of them and sheer ability is in the lead Malia Mal is in second and the Graham Clutterbuck pair of third and fourth. Bring me a look at long term project. Not any contract after that. Then Rabban Madchin. Good and point defence and look sharper next. In towards the back Murdoch Garfield. It's just the back marker. And heading off in towards the next. And Malia Mal, after that mistake, has regained the lead from Stablemate Sheer Ability. Come into this next one. Those two have got a lead of about six lengths over the rest of them. Are headed by Bring Me Luck. And a long run to this next fence. And Malia Mal. Gets over it in the lead from Sheer Ability. Second. Bring Me There's a fall there. Devil's Harmony's gone. So Devil's Harmony's gone. That's two out now. And two of the top stables have had fallers as they get to the fifth. And all safely over the fifth, although Murdoch Garfield was very untidy at the back. Brooklyn Jean and De Villa Lake have also dropped towards the rear. So to Marathon Masai as they get over the sixth. And there's a few gone there. Pompey Millennium and Higher Calling two down at that one. So four has got all today. We've lost four in this one already. And I'm going to put it down to the pace of the race, I would think. I think these John Morgan horses are really stepping on the pedal. And they're causing one or two to make mistakes in rear. But sheer ability and Malia Mal. They're probably eight lengths clear now of long term project who's gone into third. Bring me luck is fourth. Then look sharp and nightly contract. Then Jewel Flower is after that one with Rabban Madchen and One Track Mind as they get over number eight. All safely over that one. Just the one grey in this field. Ninochka stop. He's about mid div at the minute. And it's Malia Mal and Sheer Ability still well clear as they take the ninth. Stream over the ninth there, well strung out. Malia Mal in front, Sheer Ability second, gap of six lengths then to long term project in third. He's got a three length advantage over his stable mate, bring me luck in fourth. Then Rabban Madchen as they take the fence that'll be the last on the next circuit. And we see them from a Holy vantage point, we don't normally see them from. They go past the winning post. They've got a complete circuit of a track ahead of them. And Malia Mal is in the lead. Sheer Ability is in second. Long term project is three. And Rabban Madchen is four. Look Sharp is five. And Bring Me Luck is six. And One Track Mine is seven. And Petoskey Blur is eight. And then Gun Body Vents nine. And then Good Queen ten. And Nightfly Contract is next. And then Blazer Trail and Devilla Lake. And Notchka Stop. Chinchki Utopia. And then a bit of a gap. To Mingan Landing and another gap to Brooklyn Jean Murdoch Garfield and finally Marafong Messiah. Taking this long run then now towards the next. 
And Malia Mal seems to have shook off his stable companion. He's now opened up by three on his own. To sheer ability, he's got a four length lead over long term project. Potoski Blur is the one who's made significant progress from the back as they get over the 11th. So they all got over okay. And it looks like a jewel flower went at some point. And it's Malia Mal in front. And made a mistake there, Malia Mal. And continuing to lead though, from sheer ability of Malia Mal. As they get into the 13th, Sheer Ability and Malyamal landed together from Look Sharp and Potoski Blur who are third and fourth. Then Rabban Mad Chen and Bring Me Luck. After that one comes Chenchi Utopia, long term projects, the one who lost his place a little bit. The one who's creeping through nicely up the inside is Good Coin as they get over the 14th. And once again, their Sheer Ability was down on his nose. Malyamal has gone on from Look Sharp in second. Potoski Blur is in third. Now coming around the outside, Mingan Landing looks a big danger. They've only got three more to take. And Malyamal's kicked on again from Look Sharp in second. Then Chenchi Utopia and Good Coin. Mingan Landing is after that one. Then Petoski Blur as they get over the third last. And all sailing over the third last in there. Malia Mal is in the lead from Good Queen. It looks a big danger in second. So too does Chenchi Utopia in third. Nightfly Contract is there in fourth. Look Sharp's trying to battle back on the inside in fifth. So too Ming and Landon. They get over the second last. And Good Queen into the front. Good Queen then goes clear by a length to Chenchi Utopia in second. Then comes Malia Mal sticking on there in third. It's between these as they race down towards the final fence. And it's looking like Good Queen's only good jump it bring me luck he's trying to come out of the pack good queen comes down to this final fence with a two length lead gets over it well but a really good jump by bring me luck and also come over the run now is devilla lake but it's good queen and needs that line to come here comes bring me luck bring me luck get it up and bring me luck wins it from good queen Potoski blur finished well another furlong on that one would have won and probably not even another furlong another few strides probably because it was eating up the ground but it looked like good queen had got that one sewn up Ooh, it was a steward's inquiry. But nothing's changed and Bring Me Luck takes it for Graham Clutterbuck. Good Queen second for David Hooley. Petoskey Blur for Stu Gray was third. De Villa Lake for Darren Thompson was fourth. And Chenchi Utopia for Vinnie Gerrard was fifth.